Welcome to the Bicknell Family Center for the Arts on this wonderful occasion, beautiful fall afternoon outside. We appreciate you taking the time to come inside to celebrate with us. My name is Kathleen Flannery and I have the pleasure of serving as the Vice President for University Advancement here at Pittsburgh State University. I'm happy to be able to celebrate with you today for our inaugural art exhibit. And it's entitled, Images by Malcolm. And Malcolm, of course, is Malcolm Turner, who, as most of you know, retired last June after 30 years in his role as university photographer and graphics, uh, uh, graphics design specialist. And Malcolm spent 30 years truly documenting our collective experience here at Pittsburgh St State University. It's been my pleasure to work with Malcolm over the course of time uh, to document some special moments um, that we've all celebrated and capture those images that we have in our minds about what happens with our students and about our students and with all of us as we make this university a great place to educate our students and to move forward as we uh, change people's lives, transform the community here in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Uh, but that has been chronicled and documented by Malcolm over 30 years, and uh, we want to thank him for his service to the university and celebrate him today. <laughs> to share some remarks with you this afternoon is the ninth president of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Steve Scott. I just told Malcolm we're not doing his retirement reception all over. This is a different event, right? He laughed. All right, I do want to welcome everybody. It is a beautiful afternoon, great, great time to be on the campus of Pittsburgh State University, certainly. I want to thank you for joining us to open this exciting exhibit in this beautiful facility. You know, on the way over this afternoon, I thought about the grand opening we had for this building. If you remember, the date's easy to remember, December 7th, 2014. And that was the day we brought this building to life. Wasn't that a great day for this campus and this community? And today we're going to bring this beautiful art gallery to life. And I love that thought. As you can imagine, we continue to be excited about what this building means to the campus and to the community. It is by design and with purpose that we seek to provide transformational experiences via these new spaces. By all accounts, these efforts have been successful. Now, just about 10 days ago, we welcomed our fourth Broadway show to the stage of the Linda and Lee Scott Performance Hall. We've had a president, the first lady, lecturers, hypnotists, illusionists, musicians, actors, dancers, and others who performed here. What a difference these experiences have already made for this campus and again for this community. Now we stand ready to add another dimension to what this building can mean to all of us. As we open this show, it's important to note who's made this possible. Well, it won't surprise you that we had enormous support financially to put this in place as we geared up and we built the building. Well, guess what? Those gifts have continued to come, and those gifts have allowed us to finish this space. Today, we thank those who've helped us take this step. And the most recent additions to the gallery include state-of-the-art lighting system. Those systems are extremely expensive. We finished some HVAC work, some other additional tweaks, and now that room is ready to go. And I, with great pleasure, I announce today we're open for business in the art gallery. Now to some very specific thank yous. Yes, in a minute I'll talk about Malcolm, I promise. But of course, this was, display would not be possible without the assistance and the contributions of Miller's Professional Imaging and MPIX. What a great company they are. They regularly step up and help us in so many ways throughout this campus, and so this is another example of their assistance. Alicia Bailey has been our key contact person with Miller's, and Alicia is here today, and we do want to say thank you to her. Joe Furman and his, his crew have once again done another great job of putting on a great show. It's just a different kind of show. We like that. That shows that additional dimension that is now in place. And every time we take a step like this on this campus, the physical plant has to step up. Whereas the painters, the electricians, the plumbers, you name it, they're here to lend a hand and they make these things work. And in addition, Paul Stewart and I have had a few conversations about this space and how we get this space in place. Conversations that went something like, 
you mean they put a vent in the middle of a wall and now we have to move the vent? Didn't we have that conversation, Paul? But we got it done and it looks fabulous. And so all of that effort, all that work with all of those individuals participating have brought us to today. So I would like to stop just for a minute and give a round of applause for all those individuals. I believe it was back on June 9th, we had a celebration of Malcolm's retirement. I'm always struggle with that. You know, you celebrate somebody retiring. It's kind of, it's obviously bittersweet. But we had a moment to celebrate uh, Malcolm's career and his many contributions to Pittsburgh State University. And we talked about at that time how he had such an eye for this campus. And he had such a talent to identify the images that would bring this campus to life. At the retirement reception, I included a few quotes. And I thought I'd use those quotes again today to remind you. And it also sets the stage for you entering this, this space and seeing the images. Here are some of them. A good photograph is knowing where to stand. Well, when you get in there, you've seen the images, you know that Malcolm knows where to stand. You don't take a photograph, you make it. You can see that as you walk through the space. The third one, there are no rules for good photographs, there are only good photographs. He made hundreds of them, if not thousands. And today we see about 70 of his favorites. Well, these are not only good photos, I would argue they're great photos. They capture the spirit, the energy, the colors, the emotions, the beauty, the achievements, the people of this place we call Pittsburgh State University. I believe that those who visit this exhibit are sure to be moved and inspired by every single image. I certainly have been. Malcolm, thanks again. Thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you for the eye that you have. Your exhibit, now let me correct that. Our exhibit is absolutely spectacular. Thank you, Malcolm. Let's give him a round of applause. And with that, I bet Malcolm has a few words to say. He's not under contract anymore, so I have no leverage. So he can talk however long he wants to talk. Malcolm? Thank you. Well, you stole my speech. Oh. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. Uh, being a photographer, being somebody who looks at the image, capturing all of your images, it probably at some time or another, when you're on campus and what you're doing, uh, it's fun, uh, it's thrilling, sometimes it's a lot of work, but uh, it's always been fulfilling for me. Uh, you think of 30 years as a long time, but a 30 years is not long. It goes by very, very fast. But I wanted to also take time to thank all those people who helped with this project. Uh, Dick Coleman, uh, Joe Furman, his students, the art students, everybody who helped a little bit in the studio, helping us trying to put things up. Um, the, uh, uh, again, physical plant people. Uh, I need this piece of wood. Boom, 30 minutes later, it's laying on the floor. I mean, that's how fast they work for us. And uh, it just uh, really shows that the PSU family is truly a family. And that uh, uh, everybody works together. I want to thank a few more people. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank C.E. Starkweather uh, of uh, Pitcraft, who did the graphics for us. Uh, I want to thank my family who's here, especially my youngest son, Pete. Uh, he's all the way here from Sydney, Australia. And uh, what a treat. I haven't seen him in a long time. And uh, my oldest son, Ben, and his family, and that's Gemma that he's holding. And Philip, I'm not sure where Philip is at the moment. He's down there. And his mother, <laughs> Brandy. My brother, Steve, his wife, Vicki. Um, and my wife, Evelyn, who I can tell you from this point on, there will be no more Saturday shoots 
late nights or anything else. <laughs> so I, I told her when I got home, I said, after I finished the, hanging the last piece with Joe, and I went home and I said, well, that's it. I said, that's the last late night thing. I don't have to be anywhere after seven o'clock, six o'clock in the evening, you know, it's, uh, it's done. So retirement for me is now is kind of like a final deal. And uh, I'm really kind of looking forward to spending more time with my grandkids and uh, maybe doing some traveling and maybe making it back to Australia. So with that, uh, oh, and I do have one other person I want to recognize, and that's uh, Ann Krushik. Uh, Ann, where are you? Back, back in the back there. Uh, Ann is Vicky's uh, mother. She will be 93 this month. And I just wanted to wish her a happy birthday. My wife is giving me a single. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was getting to that. I always take orders from my wife. Uh, anyway, uh, also in other thankful people, uh, one person who is very close to me, has been my mentor as a boss uh, and helped with this project from the get-go. In fact, she started me on this project, took me out to lunch and said, how would you like to? And I thought, uh-oh. And, uh, and it took two and a half months to complete this project. And that's Ellen Carter. Ellen, where are you? Right over here. Ellen has uh, been beside me with this, thick and thin, all the problems, everything we've had to do. And uh, for that, thank you so much, Ellen. Uh, with that, I thank you all for coming. Hope you enjoy the show. Come back anytime. Uh, and just to plug it, if you look on the back of your program, you will find that you can go online to uh, the photo store. And if you see a print that you like, you can order a print from the photo store. When the show is finally over, and I believe we're going to do this, I'm so yeah, we are going to uh, auction off the prints inside there, and that will go towards scholarships and towards the end. So, you know, everybody wins here. Uh, had, I think it's a great time. I think it's a great event. Uh, I think it's the first venue that's, that for the art side of it, that's uh, really good for uh, the Bicknell Center. And with that, I say thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Scott, and thank you, Malcolm. You know, Malcolm, how Dr. Scott stole all of your thunder? Well, you just took most of my thunder, so that's okay. I am going to move on, um, but uh, do want to um, thank again uh, MPIX Miller's Professional Imaging. In particular, uh, John Rank and Alicia Bailey are both here today, and we appreciate that. And my special thanks always to Ellen Carter for facilitating the exhibit and uh, today's celebration, as well as the University Marketing and Communication team under the leadership of Chris Kelly. So thank you to go to all of those folks. Uh, Malcolm mentioned uh, that you can go online. You can go on to the BicknellCenter.com uh, slash photo store link, uh, and you can uh, purchase the, the prints that are available. And uh, we will, uh, at the end of the semester or when the exhibit is ready to come down, we will let you know about uh, the auction that we will have and we will establish a scholarship in Malcolm's honor. Uh, we'll learn uh, more details about that and share those with you as time goes on. But make sure that you do put your email on the guest book if you want to learn more about that. But again, thank you for joining us today. Um, tell your friends the exhibit will be open um, every time that the Bicknell Center itself is open until the end of the semester. So uh, tell your friends if they were not able to join you today to come by and make sure that they uh, take a look at the exhibit and uh, can share our appreciation for Malcolm and his work. So again, help yourself to refreshments over here to uh, my left and have a great evening. Let's say, uh, say one more thank you to Malcolm Turner. <laughs>